Hey everybody, it is Wednesday. I think it's still Wednesday. Uh, this is day three of our wilderness cabin project. Uh, if you want to see all the um, all the pictures, all the videos from this project, you can go to uh, hashtag wilderness painter and they're all going to be there. So we are done. Uh, my team got here at three in the morning last night and uh, we powered through it today. Uh, I basically got the whole cabin ready, did all my uh, coating experiments, got everything ready, and uh, we knocked it out of the park today. We, I worked them like dogs, and they absolutely killed it. So I'm going to show you guys the cabin now that it's done. Hey, Russ, Russ Perry, how's it going? Uh, a bunch of you guys wanted to see my moisture meter that I was using. So this is a Sonnen. Um, I didn't really care which one this was. I just talked to my Sherwin-Williams rep and said, hey, uh, who's got a closest... Um, moisture meter and he found me one and this thing works really well only bad thing about this is if you leave the battery in even if you turn it off it will go through batteries like crazy so uh we take the battery out after every time but basically i'll kind of show you here let me flip this guy down so it's got the two prongs on here you put it into something and it'll tell you how many percent moisture it is so 15 percent or less go time for almost everything obviously if it's uh, if it's less that's good too but you're not gonna find zero you're usually not gonna find five if you can get like you know wood uh, stasis in the Midwest you're usually gonna get maybe eight to twelve percent give or take and usually that's about as dry as it's ever gonna get so um, bear with me here uh, I only have Wi-Fi in very select places and I'll give you guys a view of the cabin here so lovingly restored by me and the guys if you can uh, if the sound is really good in this you can hear they got the radio fired up down by the lake uh, it's swimming time we just got back from an abandoned uh, rock quarry uh, we shot a whole bunch of shotguns and pistols and, and everything else beautiful log home I'll walk you around the front hopefully we won't lose some signal here so Matt Arsino thanks for uh, lending me your boss for a day before the residential form he's an awesome guy so here we have this is a 2,000 acre lake with 11 islands on it. Crystal clear, you can see about 20 feet down. And I was catching smallmouth bass like crazy the other night out there. Awesome working with real logs. Uh, oh, the guys are down there. I think you're probably gonna hear somebody splash into the lake here, so. <laughs> so a trellis, we had fun working over. Look at these dipshits. Okay, so just to recap, um, this is about a six and a half hour drive north from me. Turn around so you guys can actually see the cabin here. So about a six and a half hour drive north from me. I hit Lake Superior in the Duluth area. I still had like three or three and a half hours. I uh, went through Grand Marais, the beautiful harbor of Grand Marais. There's pictures of that. Um, and then we turned off on the gravel and we still had 45 minutes to go. So you can see solar panel up here. There is a well. They do have their own running water here, which is quite a luxury. Uh, this is one of the, uh, at least on this general area, this is, uh, this is it, to call it a cabin is, is probably a little hyperbole. This is a beautiful vacation home. Uh, they have their own septic system here, which is quite a luxury, especially when uh, almost everything is bedrock. They have their own solar system, and that panel will actually turn with the sun and capture it all stores it in batteries here but there's no grid to feed it back onto because they're off the grid so they just store it all here and they use the power uh, and he said basically uh two times in the last eight months the generators ever had to kick on to supply some auxiliary power so 
up until about a year ago, uh, this thing was all run off gas. So there's gas lamps, just like an old sailing vessel in these things. It's just beautiful. So, so yeah, I got here early. I washed it, got the whole thing prepped, uh, monitored it on the hour with moisture meters. And as soon as we were good to go, started finishing. These guys showed up. I actually did some finishing before they showed up. Uh, they showed up. I had everything ready to go. They grabbed some brushes and, and uh, we knocked it out. So this has been a really awesome project. I love, I love that my clients will send me on these things. Um, and I sort of use this as a almost a leadership retreat sort of uh, reward for a lot of these guys because they, they love doing this as well. So uh, thank you everybody for following along. Again, hashtag Wilderness Painter. If you want to see all the pictures, all the fun stuff from this one, uh, we are, uh, I'll repeat it again, I know I've said it before, but uh, awesome fact that if I want to find uh, the nearest paint store, it is in another time zone in another country from here. We're that far, uh, we're that far removed from other people. So these are awesome. I get to do one or two of these a year and, uh, and they're just a blast. So thank you everybody for watching. Share this if, uh, if you want to inspire other people to see what our profession could be, uh, that we can have fun doing this. We don't just have to do apartment turns and things all the time. And uh, this can be a super satisfying, super rewarding project, super rewarding life doing this stuff. So thanks everybody. Uh, we're gonna go start a little fire down here. We're gonna explore the lake a little bit and I'm heading back. These guys will probably stay here, just make sure everything looks good with the cabin. Give it one last once over and they'll head back. And then Friday, we'll be back for Ask a Painter. So uh, whatever you guys wanna talk about, if you wanna recap on this project, if you wanna talk about, you know, uh, whatever you guys are interested in, uh, Friday at noon back home, we'll be doing Ask a Painter. So thanks everybody for following. Uh, I get tons of nice messages through people throughout the week, uh, really kind words, and uh, it doesn't go over my head. I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to join the rest of the guys and uh, have a great night, guys.